On this video, I'm going to be getting a grill fitted in the uh, old 52 project. Stay tuned, watch and see. I'm excited. You see what this is? See what this says here? <laughs> chrome grill chrome grill for the 52 pickup oh yeah fixing to open it up yeah just open the top and they did not put a lot of padding in there you would have thought they would have at least spent three or four bucks for a can of that uh a can of foam and filled it up with some foam but we'll see especially shipping through FedEx they're not the most uh, they're not the most friendly people with our packages so I'm gonna get this out it's gonna take two hands and we'll see what it looks like all right what I've done guys is I've <clears throat> taken the fender off and Essentially, what I'm going to have to do is um, that grill has to be countersunk in there. It can't. It doesn't set flush on the top front of the fender like I thought it did. It actually here. I'll show you. It's actually very thick, and it sits on back in there. So it's really going to have to go back probably this full distance right here back in there so I've got this one fender off I took the body mount bolt or the whatever you want to call that thing it, it's really the the mount for the it's just like a body bolt body mount bolt but it's uh, the mount for this uh, radiator support all I've got left is this one piece on the side anyway so I'm going to be taking it out I'm going to have to lift up the radiator and condenser and uh, slide slide this piece out. i got to strip all these, <clears throat> all these wires off and make sure they're not connected in any way, which there's a ground right there, so I'm going to have to reconnect that ground. But anyhow, um, i got to take that off so I can get that piece off. Then I'm going to have to do in turn over here and take that fender off which it, it's okay because I didn't show this on film but I welded if you can see back in there but I welded this long bolt on here and um, I wanted to I wanted to have a long bolt I really didn't want to have one that long but um, I wanted to be able to put that fender on and have it drawn back this way where it was really tight and the body lines on this uh, on this hood really really it was really spot on so I'm really happy about that so I want to do the same thing on the other side plus I got to cut this this pillar here I've got to cut it in on the other side too this here I had to smash in a little bit more on this side but the other side was okay um, I just got to go in more with this so I had to take the fender off on that side anyway but let me work here on getting this this off you see this is all loose um, I just got to get the radiator separated from it and having having trouble getting that bolt down in there to pop on out I like it to come straight up out of there but it doesn't really want to do that I'd like to get that that bolt on out that way I could slide this on out easier without having that bolt nailing me down oh I see now I see now that's all connected on the bottom still that's right so I can't just slide it out I'm going to have to uh, 
go through the extra pains of pulling it out the front. Okay, well, let's do that, and uh, I have to end up taking that other fender off before I can do it. But at least I got this one side all loose. Happy about that. They come apart pretty, pretty easy. Wasn't too bad. So I don't think this is going to be such a big ordeal. Afterwards, I'll have to build me a new mount. I may use some of these scraps that I have here. Cut it down and make a new mount with it. We'll see. We'll see what I got left to work with after I get that, that grill up here. Because that grill is going to tell me... Um, where I need to be on the fenders. It's going to line the fenders up perfect and perfect and square and it's going to be bring me in the right direction. Alright, let me get this off. Well, I got the radiator core support out. Um, I took this fender off and I went ahead and did the clearance that I needed to I don't know if you can see it up in there, but I did the clearance. I welded a bolt just like I did on this side that um, was a game changer. Um, I re it really helped me out a lot. So I got a, a bolt welded into place right where the fenders should be. And I went ahead and I put this inner fender back in, which I didn't have it in there before. I had taken it out prematurely and um, should have let, just left it in. But anyway... It's back in there, and I don't know if you can see up in there, it, it covers three quarters of the fender well, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do something about that or not, but it, it's, it's pretty stable. There's two bolts and a tie strap holding it for now. This is my wiring harness for my um, lights and all that is just hanging down here, helter skelter. So right now... I am going to fit the grill. Hopefully it will fit into place. The only thing I'm seeing that might be a problem. I got it covered up over here. And maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it before I put it up in there. See if my tape measures here. Only thing might be a problem is them lines with the condenser. I'm gonna see how much clearance I got here. That's about 10 inches. Is that 10? And nine and a half. Nine and a half. So let's see what I got over here. Yeah, I've only got seven. Oh, nine and a half might take me into the uh, condenser there. Well, we'll see. Maybe that fender has to come out. Hopefully, the fender has to come out. If I, I brought the fender out there. nine and a half the lines would still be in the way which means either the condenser's got to go back or maybe maybe it has to go over maybe it could go over this way some I don't know not really sure. I'm not going to know until I set it up there, so that's what I'm going to do next. Well, I've been working this morning. Um, you see, I've cut everything off, um, off the frame there. I cut these, uh, these mounts off, and uh, then I cut the... Here's the mounts. Then I cut the, the frame. Cut it back five and a half inches. That is, um, it's even, kind of even. I didn't really, didn't really cut them as straight as, uh, as what I could have, but 
my partner said that that it looked all right so i'm going on on a dog's eye view anyway <coughs> i think that'll be back far enough to go ahead and and fit this grill on at least i hope so from the looks of things when i'm looking at it here it looks like this fender is poking out a little bit more in the bottom than this one is this one could be a little bit a little bit bent down here i don't know probably is because this one's been hit so it might be dented in there a little bit i might have to just pull it out anyway besides all that this one here looks like it's pretty straight and it's out just a little bit further than what the little frame nubs are so i'm gonna get the grill and i'm gonna put it back up here and see what it looks like i'm gonna have to end up i'm really putting this off it really pains me but i'm gonna have to end up cutting the grill the inside of the grill brand new almost 500 hundred dollar grill but uh i'm gonna have to cut it guys because uh i i really don't i would say i don't see another way i do see another way but um i don't want to do it it would mean changing the radiator and the radiator also has the transmission cooler line and a power steering cooler line in it. And I would have to change out the, uh, the uh, condenser. So the condenser is too wide for the grill. If I could get one maybe, I don't know, three inches more narrow, doesn't matter if it's taller, but if, if it was more narrow then I could do it but then I got to go into repiping it and I really don't want to go through all that I can do it done it before but I really don't want to do it for this build I want really want to keep everything motor wise and drivetrain and all I want to keep the s10 s10 from pretty much here on out except for what I got to cut off like the frame and all here but um anyway i'm rambling a little bit now i'm gonna go get the uh, grill and try to mock it up i made a template right here <clears throat> i need to cut it out still but um, this here is the grill and this here is what I'm gonna have to cut out of it. Uh, this here is a line that comes over. So I'm, I'm not gonna cut this part right now because the way the, the louvers are on the grill, the line could wind up going in between and I don't have to cut. So I'm gonna cut this part out of the grill and this part out of the grill. And we will see we'll see just just how much more I need um, that's that's my plan right now I want to cut out as little as I have to also these are our supports and I'll show you I'm gonna have to move them supports the supports are right here and they stick out way far so i'm thinking to move them over to this side and just i'll have to drill new holes here and it'll be out of my way i believe but for the time being i'm just going to take i'm just going to take these off and then uh and try to fit it and see what it looks like I think the rigidity will pretty much still be there because of the way this metal is bent it's pretty it's pretty solid so that's that's what I'm trying next guys I may not film it all but that's what I'm trying next well I've got the braces off and I put it up there I mocked it up and I've got it kind of marked here I'm going to have to cut this bottom part a little bit wider 
um, just because of the um, the frame the frame comes out there but this one here is gonna wind up I got to cut it to that line um, when I go straight down it's gonna clear the, should clear the frame I'm gonna have to get more aggressive on this side than this side right here and I'll show you my uh, my templates here um, I went ahead and cut them off this one this one is going to be let's see how's it going to be how's it going here okay it's like this this is going like that so if you can see it real well but so that's that's where it's going to get cut into. I got to draw it, draw the line on there, <clears throat> and that's going to be all the way down, all three of these, up until this last one down here, and then it's going to be all the way over to here, all the way over to that line. Then this one, this one's going to be a little bit more brutal to be more aggressive here this one's got to go all the way over to the the side there but you know it is what it is it's not going into the chrome it's only I'm only cutting off painted surface I'm just gonna have to be real careful with the grinder with the cutoff wheel because that's the only way I can do it unless I take this whole contraption apart and do them individually and uh, I don't feel like doing that so I'm gonna draw this out I'm gonna put a piece of uh, I'm gonna put a piece of masking tape all the way down here where I can have my straight line to start from probably put it on this side and I'll have my straight line to start from and then I'll get my paint marker and I'll draw this this template out here I'll draw that template out on every one of these except for the last one I'll draw it out and then I'll expand it over and we'll get to cutting cry about it later <laughs> ain't nothing to it but to do it all right well that wound up actually perfect the the tape where I had it was perfect. So I guess I'll go off that center bar <clears throat> and that will be my, that will be my, my uh, dead man or whatever. That's what I'll go to. Um, because uh, looks like the sides might, the sides might flare out at the bottom a little bit. Doesn't look like it's the same. I'll have to measure it, but it doesn't look like the same dimension at the top some reason it looks like it goes out I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, anyway what I did was I kind of let me see little scratches kind of rubbed it up and down a little bit on the on the uh, metal and I put some scratches in there on purpose so I could see exactly where I was sitting and I'm pretty happy with it so let me get it taped up on the other side and get to marking this up. Well, guys, this is what I come up with. Um, I got got it all marked out where I'm going to chop it off. And my plan of attack is I guess I'm going to go from the bottom one, cut the bottom. Then I'll have clearance for the next one up. Hopefully, I'll be able to go up with that cutoff wheel because the cutoff wheel will get smaller as I go up too. So that that'll kind of help me out. And uh, you see, on this one here, the bottom is a little bit bigger because of the frame. And uh, well, I guess nothing, nothing more but to just get at it. Just get at it. Is that what you say, puppy? Huh? Just get at it? Okay.
Well, guys, it is what it is now. Um, good, bad, and ugly. Uh, it's all, it's all cut out. I, I don't think I ain't made any mistakes except for that spot right there. I kind of bumped it a little bit, which that one rib may be sticking out a little bit too far, but. You know, the proof's in the pudding. Once I set it up there, uh, mock it up, then it's it's going to be it's going to be the telltale right there. So I'm sure I'll have to do some more massaging on it, but we're going to try it out now. You see, I got it all taped up to the chair, and then the chair was swiveling a little bit on me, so I I wedged it up here between that that filler neck which is really that's really smart that's what you want to do right there you want to create a bunch of sparks next to where your filler neck is for your uh, for your vent for your fuel but anyway that's where I had it that's where I did it and we're gonna try it now all right guys I just put it up here I mean just put it up and I am I am pretty impressed with the way that it turned out. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, if you, there's only one spot where I'm gonna have to clearance it just a little bit. And if you see right, right there, it's hitting that line. I'm gonna have to notch that out just a little bit more, kind of like at an angle just to just to where it's not touching that line and actually it has to go up just a hair so it it may not it may not even touch that line but I'm gonna I'm gonna clearance it out there but all these other cutouts that I made they are they're spot on that one I cut out just just a little bit more than I needed to but it's good Good. Over here on this side, where I cut out, I, of course I got to dress all that down. I didn't know if I was going to have to go more or, or what, but everything has wound up spot on the money, right where I needed it to be. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I got to clean all that up. This fender here is going to have to end up coming down it's resting on that bracket over there but looks like if it comes in just a little bit it, it'll it'll set down and and it'll be even with that side I'm gonna I'm gonna clearance that one area and then I'm gonna put some bolts in it and see see what I got here but it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Look at that. Can't wait to get the hood shut and see what it looks like. But I need to trim that and get some bolts in it. And, uh, and then I can start mocking everything else up. Well, fellas, I've been uh, pretty bad about filming everything. Uh, but I got this this radiator support, I guess you would call it, maybe, um, whatever it is. I got this put on. It was pretty bent up. I had to do some welding up there on it. Uh, it had this thing all, it looked like a truck had run over it. So I had to get it on the <clears throat> block outside the old uh, stump and kind of bend it out. It It's pretty good. It's not 100%, but it's good enough for a rat rod. Uh, you can see that driver's side fender is up just a little bit higher than the passenger side fender. Um, I've uh, I've got it kind of just sketchily rigged up there for right now because I want to get it outside and work on another project real quick. Uh, 
I was trying to fabricate some kind of hinge up here, some kind of uh, hood support where I could just open it up and not have to worry about the prop rod, but that was a complete fail. It's going to have to be different. I don't, I don't have the supporting metal up there to go ahead and put it in the spot where I need to put it. So unless I can come up with something, I think I'm going to put some struts in there. And I'll just have some hood struts. I've just got to figure out which ones I need and how exactly to put them. But anyway, I think for right now, this is where I'm going to, I'm going to end it, guys. I got the grill put in. I'm happy with it. I got about ah, four bolts, six bolts holding it in. And I, I think it looks pretty decent. I mean, look at this from the side, and yeah, it's starting to take shape. So, for right now, guys, I'm going to be ending this up. This is Double Trouble Garage, and uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you, you like my content, if you like what I'm doing. Um, I, I enjoy making these these videos. I've been a little bit lax on it uh, this this week, but uh, I have got the major parts in there. Uh, draw me some comments. Uh, tell me what you'd like to see and you'd like to see more of hands-on. Uh, I can put more in there. I believe me, I can make a longer video, but I got some complaints about the longer videos too. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe y'all have fun in whatever you're doing enjoy life every day and until next time see ya